Now, I haven't been recording or being outside in the garden for over nearly two months now and um, September, month of September is always just very busy at, at um, my normal day-to-day -day work and then with the COVID, the school starting, there was an outbreak of uh, COVID in my son's uh, school in the class and so that was closed down for a couple of um, weeks so there was homeschooling again my son and actually ended up getting COVID as well so the times were a little bit chaotic and then the weather and all that so I yeah did not end up getting to the garden at all um, everything's still growing it's been so mild uh, but if I could even just show you a little bit around and then I'll just get on with some of the quick jobs and I do have to just harvest a couple of them pumpkins because they're these are beautiful little baby bears and um, they're perfectly ready. Look, it's all dried up, all brown. Um, this is another perfect example. And just to get it a bit all tidied up. Now there's another baby bear here that isn't fully ripe. Um, once there's so much rain as we are getting now, you see, I don't want this to rot um, away. And um, then I have all these squashes, Ujiki Kuris, that the same thing. Like before the wildlife gets to them, um, just take them up and tidy all this. Um, there are a couple of uh, crown princes that are totally green yet. They're later plants that went in. Um, I've got gladioli here that uh, the wind has knocked all different to all different directions and I'll just lift those bulbs um, and let them dry up um, themselves naturally. And I've got some autumn fruiting raspberries still here. Oh, a bit thorny. Scratchy, scratchy. No. How beautiful are those? These are Everest and they are delicious. They are so sweet and juicy. Absolutely beautiful. They come off really nice and clean when they're ready. Oops. There we go. So yeah, I'll crack on with that and I'll um, bring you back when I have some, something done. Um, and I'll, I'll show you what, what it looks like then. got most of it done. I'll just show you now what I harvested because I actually cleared up this uh, big bed altogether which is only about one and a half meters by three meters and I'll show you how many pumpkins I got from it and then I also cleaned up this um, little bit here uh, from the gladiola and one um, crown plants pumpkin plant was in that. All of these, right? All of them and all of them out of all one bed. And then the other smaller bed, I got these two um, crown prints pumpkins. And I'll take them into the house now, put them into a sunny spot, a warm sunny spot, and they'll um, ripen as well. They should become more um, in a bluey color. If I show you the difference there, let's say this guy. You see how the stem here is already brownish and the color is so much different. Right? So this is the right color for it to be ripe. Okay. I also managed to weed this bed and I just cut back um, another crown prints but I let this um, ripen a little bit more. It's a slightly more sheltered spot so it should be fine but God, what a difference it is to see a clean bed. I also got weeds out of the way and I managed to get to my 
purple sprouting broccoli. So these are all ready to harvest. They really have to be harvested because otherwise they'll just go over. But how pretty are them? Oh, and me and my buddy. I have to go and play a bit now. And we'll see you next time again.